I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to boot this device into what is known as recovery mode. This tutorial will work for the base model of the Galaxy S23 series, the Galaxy S23 Plus, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If Samsung releases any other variants for this series, and we may end up seeing something like the Galaxy S23 FE, then you'll be able to follow this guide for those devices as well. In order for this to work, you will need a USB data connection to the device. In this video today, I'll be plugging in the USB cable that I have connected to my PC but I have also read that it may work with some USB-C headphones as well. Let me know in the comments section below if that worked for you or not. However, this will not work if you try to use the USB cable that is connected to a charger. It needs to be a USB data connection for it to work properly. So let's go ahead and plug a USB cable into the Galaxy S23 and then power down the smartphone. We're going to want to wait until the charging circle that appears goes away, which should happen after a few seconds of not pressing any of the hardware buttons here. When you're ready, we're going to press and hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time. These two buttons need to be pressed and held at the same time while we have a USB cable connected to the phone. And we're going to hold these two buttons down until we see the recovery mode menu appear on the screen. So let's press these two buttons and we're going to hold these two buttons down and we're going to see the boot up screen appear and then change and then after that it should switch us over into recovery mode as soon as you see the recovery mode screen like this appear then we can let go of both of these buttons we can even unplug this USB cable if you want at times I have not let go of those two buttons quick enough and that has caused me to reboot out of recovery mode and back into Android very quickly. So if you end up seeing this menu flash quickly and then disappear, then that is likely what happened. And I can only recommend that you try the process over again until you get to this screen. Now that we have booted into the Galaxy S23 recovery mode screen, we cannot interact with this menu using the touch screen. Instead, we have to use the volume up and volume down buttons to change which menu option is being highlighted. And then when you want to select a highlighted option, you're going to want to press the power menu to select it. There are a number of things that we can do within recovery mode, but you should be aware that this is not going to help you recover any of your personal data. This special boot mode for Android is not there to help you recover deleted photos, videos, or your previously installed applications or games. However, it can help you recover the Android operating system back to a bootable state, but that's about as far as it goes when recovering data. We can also do some other tasks within the Galaxy S23 recovery mode menu, like side loading an over the air update using an ADB connection or installing an over the air update via the internal storage, AKA the SD card. 
We can also use this to wipe the cache partition and mount the system partition. We can perform various tests from within recovery mode. We can view the recovery logs and even perform a repair apps task. And remember, when you want to select one of these options, it needs to be highlighted first, and then you need to press the power button to select that option. When you're ready to leave this menu and go back to Android, let's highlight the reboot system now option that appears at the top of this menu, and then press the power button to select it. As long as your phone is not going through some sort of boot loop, then you should see the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra restart and go through the typical boot sequence. If you have performed a factory data reset there, then your first boot back into Android will take longer than normal. However, as long as you haven't erased anything, then you should see the phone boot back into Android like normal. I hope this video has helped anyone who wants to boot their Galaxy S23 into recovery mode. If you have any questions, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I do my best to reply to all of the comments and answer every question that comes by.